guys welcome back to our channel and today we are going to talk about a platform where you can find a lot of freelancing gigs whether you're looking for writing gigs data entry virtual assistant data computation etc you can get and you can find any and all type of gigs and the best part about this is that it is available worldwide anybody can sign up with this platform and land gigs and make a part-time income for those of you who are new to this channel, I am Chavi, the owner of Mrs. Dapo Studio, a place to find work from home jobs and different ways of making money online. If you want to find out about all the legitimate work from home options and make part time or full time income from home, do not forget to hit the red icon below and subscribe to our channel. Also, do not forget to hit the bell icon so you are notified each and every time a new video is uploaded and you do not miss out any opportunity to make money online. So let's get started. So let's talk a little bit about freelancer.com. It is a bidding website, a marketplace where freelancers and business meet. Businesses are the one who put out the freelancing jobs and freelancers like you will be bidding on the projects depending upon what budgets clients have and depending upon what kind of bids and proposals that you have written, the clients will be allocating that project to somebody, awarding that project to somebody and you will be paid via freelancer. There is one point that you need to take care here that freelancer charges for this particular service. You do not have to pay a fee, but for example, if you land a project that pays you $10 per hour, then freelancer will take a, take some amount from the $10 with every payment that you will make with them. They will charge a percentage of the fee. Let's check it out as we go. This is their home page. You can either hire a freelancer that is for businesses do or earn money freelancing this is what we have to focus on it is used by some of the very popular companies like microsoft sap metlife intel boeing pwc and more businesses can get work done in more than 13 50 different categories that is that also means that you as a freelancer can offer offer services in more than 13 50 different categories the categories are mentioned here it has data entry, Photoshop, software development, accounting, finance, legal, manufacturing, etc. We will deal with it at the end of the video. These are the step-by-step -step instructions on how you can get started. You need to complete your profile, select skills and expertise, upload a professional photo, go through the verification center checklist, browse, browse jobs that suit your skill, expertise, price and schedule, write your best bid and get awarded and earn. You can start browsing jobs here. We'll go through each of these steps. I will go through the entire sign up process with you. This is the homepage of freelancer.com. You will have to sign up. So on the top bar, you can see sign up. Click on it. Now you will have to sign up here. So let's do that. Agree to the freelancer user term and privacy policy and click on join freelancer. You will have to select a username. So let's go with Shavi HNLU. So here you will have to select whether you want to work or you are here to hire. So select I want to work because you are looking for freelancing gigs and let it sign up. So once you have done this process, you will be landing on this page where you can select. Let's get started by selecting your skills to help us understand and recommend jobs for you. So you can select what kind of job you're looking for here. So let's say you're looking for data entry and admin jobs. So click on that. You can select all the data entry and admin skills that you have. So let's say you have data entry. You know Excel, Microsoft Office, email handling, customer support, virtual assistant jobs data scraping, call center, article submissions, telephone handling, video upload, database design. You can select all the data entry and admin skills that you think you have or you think you can learn and click on next steps. Now here you will have to complete your profile. So put your first name, last name, the languages that you know. So you can put English, Hindi or any other language that you know of. The more languages you put, 
the more chances of you landing some kind of gig especially if it is a translation project or a translation gig you can select what kind of experience you have whether you are a beginner intermediate or advanced so for beginner you have been working with these skills for less than a year and are still learning and intermediate is somebody who have been working with these skills for 2 to 5 years and can complete most common tasks an advanced person is somebody who has the skills for more than 5 years so let's say you are a beginner and say next step so now you will have to select a payment method to verify you can either add a credit or a debit card or paypal i want to take a moment here and discuss about paypal i prefer uh, accepting foreign currency using paypal or even indian currency it is much more safer than giving your bank account details or credit or debit card number it is because the only thing that you share when you share your paypal details is your email id now for those of you who do not know how to create a paypal account it is extremely simple you have to go to the paypal website and sign up you will need to use an email id and verify that email id besides that you will also need to connect your bank account with the paypal um, paypal account when you connect your bank account with paypal paypal will charge you $1 which will be refunded but it is to ensure that everything works and that the account details that you gave that you gave are correct and everything syncs properly so do not be shocked or uh, do not feel that you've been cheated if paypal cuts $1 from your, when you're authenticating and connecting your account with them once you have done that you can go ahead and receive payments there are certain circumstances like when you re- when you go beyond a particular threshold in terms of payments that you will be requiring uh, details like your pan number and your gst details but we do not have to deal with it right now because as a beginner freelancer you will not be requiring any any of that all you need is an email id and a bank account which you can connect with the paypal account Your payment method is used to verify your identity and it builds employer trust in you that means they will be more willing to give you work you can get paid faster so higher trust scores unlock more payment methods attract shorter security periods and have a higher monthly withdrawal limit you can rank higher because your trust score will be high and you can also take up free trial membership so verifying a payment method will give you access to one month trial membership and you can take full advantage of it to land any kind of gig that you're looking for i'm going to skip it for now so this is the f- free trial period that um, i was talking about earlier so freelancers with plus membership are 427% more likely to be awarded with a project you can apply to 100 jobs per month you can have 80 skills on your profile you can have daily withdrawal request and you will get freelancer rewards this is the premium membership of freelancer you do not need to take it again you do not need to take it the free account of freelancer is free for life you can use it as long as you want and without paying a penny right now if you're starting out if this is all new to you and This is the first time you're looking for job on freelancer. I highly and strongly recommend you stay away from paying any membership fee or fee for them. Your first job is to try out the platform and land land gigs and make money. It is when you start making money, get comfortable with the platform and land clients, you can start with their premium membership. That is you can decide that you want to spend on their premium membership and get the add-ons that they are offering. But for right now stay with the free account and find clients to work and make here are certain free faqs that is free quickly asked questions that you can go through i'm going to skip it for now and that is it this is all you need to set up an account with them You will also be required to verify your email ID so click on resend email or if you haven't received the email if you have there will be a verification link in the email you can go ahead and click on it to verify before you apply to any data entry job or any freelancing gig on freelancer you will have to create a profile it is only when you create a profile and verify your email ID can you go ahead and grab any job 
so i have already made it when you have not you will need to put in the professional headline for now i have put data entry clerk you can go ahead and put anything you want if you do not know how to do it you can go ahead and find out the profiles of other freelancers and see how they look like and uh, take inspiration from there you have to put the summary here um my recommendation is to put in your experience and what you're comfortable with so for now i have written i'm good with data entry jobs and is willing to take work right now i have experience of one year in data entry and no excel in and out you can keep adding your experiences your skills and things that you're comfortable with the description this summary needs to be at least 100 words you will need to upload a picture of yourself i have uploaded a stock image but if you are serious about getting a freelancing gig i highly recommend that you upload a professional picture of yourself you will have to put the hourly rate here now i do not recommend putting anything less than 15 dollars per hour you may feel it is a little bit more by indian standards but the gigs that are posted on freelancer is from worldwide and you will work with a lot of us uk australian clients and uh, $15 per hour is kind of their minimum wage requirement so do not worry about it just put the rate of $15 per hour and click on save this is the dashboard of freelancer.com now you will see browse projects here click on it and start bidding on projects that meet your skills now this is what it will look like there are two specific project types that you can find with freelancer one is fixed project and one is hourly projects fixed projects have a fixed pay and hourly projects are being paid depend, depend depending on how many hours you spend on that project so right now we are looking for both of them so i've selected both the skills here are the same ones that you have selected when you were creating the account you can always clear skills and edit profile skills now right now there are 2005 results that is 2005 freelancing gigs available for you to take on and make money so let's look at the second one the gig is for conversion of pdf into word now this is a very simple data entry job and anyone can take it let's click on it and look at it in a little bit more detail So we would like to have a scanned PDF file converted to a Word file. So that would mean that you will need to type out the PDF into a Word file, which involves a lot of um, work. That is why the skills required are data entry, PDF, Word and copy typing. Copy typing is what you will be doing in this task. Uh, whenever you are interested in a gig and you want to check it out, you should always check out the, about the employer column of the gig. Now this employer is based in Canada, there are zero projects completed and there are no reviews and they have very recently joined the platform that is May 12, 2020. Whenever you see an employer which has recently joined, has no reviews and no project completed and no payments made, they have none of these verifications, be a little wary and if you can grab a gig with somebody who has been on the platform for a while and has made payments and has completed projects, that would be a much safer gig to begin with. Place a bid on this project here. You will be able to edit your bid until the project is awarded to somebody. So your bid amount should be here. And the number of days that you will take to finish the project should be here. You can describe the proposal here. You can write the steps that you will need, you will be taking to complete the project. I know that there is not a lot of description available here, but you can do as much as possible with the amount of details that you have. For certain specific projects, you can also add milestones and click on place a bid. You can ignore all these optional upgrades because they are available. They are available for members only. Now, when you're writing a bid, there are certain tips that freelancer is giving you right here. So your best chance of winning this project is writing a great bid proposal. Now, great bids are the one that are engaging and well written without spelling on grammatical error. Show a clear understanding of what is required for this specific project. Explain how your skills and experience relate to the project and your approach to working on it. 
and ask questions to clarify any unclear details. So make sure that you are writing an engaging bid proposal. You are developing a proposal with whatever information you have. Add on your skills and experience related to such a project and add in how your past experience and skills will help you make this project a success. If you're unclear about something, ask those questions in the proposal itself. It shows you're curious and you are serious about taking on this work. Most of all, don't spam or paste cut and copy bids. Whenever you are applying for a gig, take some time out to write a genuine and a very specific bid for that proposal. It should be relevant. So you can place the bid. So there is conversion of PDF into Word. There is data entry work. That is, I have some work in an Excel spreadsheet ready to pay $1 to $5. There, again, conversion of PDF to Word. Conversion of PDF into Word files. Copy typing is a pretty popular skill right now. Crawl approximately 1000 and return URLs that mention keywords. Data entry. Table optimization. Content upload. So you can go ahead and check all these gigs that are here. You can always edit your profile skills. So if you think that you want to get some gigs on writing and content, you can add these and see what comes up. So it depends upon what you're interested in. You can find website, IT and software related gigs, mobile phones and computing related gigs, writing and content, design, media, architecture, data entry, admin. We already looked at that engineering and science, product sourcing and manufacturing, sales, marketing, freight, shipping, transportation, business accounting, human resource, legal translation and languages, local jobs, and a lot of others like in fitness, academic advising, appointment setting, podcasting, alumni relations, taxation, antics, answering telephones. There are so many gigs that are available on Freelancer that I'm pretty sure each and every one of you who's watching this video can find a gig and make a part-time income with Freelancer.com. So let's look at tips for new freelancers and tips for winning projects so it can help you out. So let's look at a few tips that they're talking about. It talks about making a good impression. As early as bidding on projects, make yourself stand out from the rest. It is very important. There are so many freelancers on this platform it is very important that you distinguish yourself from others that is why I keep telling in each and every video that you need to specifically work on a bid write your proposals specific to that bid specific to that gig it is always a good idea to propose milestones you should not bite off more than you can chew that is you, can, you should only take up the amount of work that you can deliver perfectly do not overburden yourself with work you should always stay on the site, keep communication clear and uh, you should keep the communication between you and the client going. You, ne you, should never let, uh, you should never leave your client hanging. You should be accessible and always try to go an extra mile with your delivery. You know, when you go an extra mile and you make your clients happy, they always come back looking for you and giving you more work. So that would mean you will have repeat clients and clients will want to work with you. They'll directly reach out to you and give you work. That way you can have regular work and you can earn a lot more than you would if you keep applying to new jobs. You can find tips for winning projects as well. So read the project description thoroughly. If you do not understand what the project is all about, you cannot write a very specific proposal for it and cannot impress the clients. Keep your bid clear and concise. Propose milestones. Be competitive with your pricing. If you are looking that the client is ready to pay $5 to $50 and you're very excited to earn $50, do not write $50 in your bid. Okay, that is the highest they are willing to give you. Do some research and see what others are proposing, what others generally charge for that service. And if you are really looking to land a client, propose a little bit lower than what is the going price for that service. Now, I'm telling you that because clients would always want to save money and they will hire you. You can then impress the client and keep getting repeat work. And that is when you can increase your pricing. By now, the client already knows that you know their work, you know how they like their work, and they would be willing to give you that extra $1, $5, or even $10. So do that. That is one of the best tips that I can give you as a freelancer. Do not oversell yourself. So be honest about your skills because that is very important. If you oversell yourself, you, will, you might just end up 
making a bad impression if you're not able to do something. Proofread your bid. Upload work samples to your portfolio because that shows the client what you can or cannot do. Try to respond promptly when employer contacts you because they are on a, on a platform like Freelancer, which is very competitive, you stand a chance to lose the gig if you don't respond promptly. So uh, reply to them as soon as possible. And for this particular purpose, I recommend you download Freelancer on your phone. It is available on the it is available both for Android and Apple phones. So go ahead and download it on your phone so you can know when you get a private message and you can reply as soon as possible and stay in contact using mobile apps just like I just just like I mentioned and stay in contact using our mobile apps just like I mentioned okay so um remember I told you that freelancer charges a percentage of the fee so here it is for early projects 10% of the payment released to the freelancer is charged as fee so for every hundred dollars you will have to give ten dollars to freelancer for fixed price project 10% of the winning bid of a five USD Whichever is greater is collected when the award awarded freelancer accepts the project. Each subsequent payment to the freelancer in excess of the original bid amount will incur a 10% project fee. So for example, if $100 was the fixed price project, you will have to give them $10. If it was a little bit lower than $100 and 10% comes out to be lesser than $5, then freelancer will take $5. And with each subsequent payment in excess of this fixed price project you will have to give 10 percent project fee these project fees are non-refundable this is just a way for freelancer.com to make money and keep going they're they're providing you a platform to find work and make money there is there has to be a way for them to make money so they make money through memberships and when they're giving you a free account they make membership they make money by charging project fees there you go this is all about freelancer.com and how you can find a lot of legitimate freelancing gigs with them you can go ahead sign up with them and start making money however you can only make a part-time income with freelancer.com unless you spend a lot of time on it and get regular clients and get a lot of referrals but if you're looking for a full-time income and if you're looking for various ways of making money from home and replace your 9 to 5 job then you can see two videos on the screen right now go ahead and check them out. If you like the video, do not forget to hit the red icon below, subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends and family and leave me a comment. See ya and thank you.